And it's Serena Sampson. Serena, you have three minutes to address the board. Please address the board chair and not any individual on the board or staff. And we ask that you keep your mask on at all times. Okay. Hello, my name is Serena Sampson and um, I'm here to finish what I had started speaking to you about the last time I was here. Um, by implementing this mandate, you're potentially committing child abuse based on all the research that I provided you guys with um, a month ago. Um, and you're also in violation of the OSHA laws potentially with the staff um, that are on our campus or on all the campuses. Um, first of all, physical damage. The physical damage that can be done to children by the use of masks is a lack of oxygen. When they have a lack of oxygen in their blood, they suffer from things like headaches, Shortness of breath, confusion, restlessness, cough, rapid breathing, slow heart rate, sweating, loss of consciousness, which would be very tragic, a weakened immune system. So essentially by keeping kids with masks all day long, their immune system gets weakened, which actually makes them more susceptible to getting sick, which is counter to health. Um, it also encourages the formation of cancer. So if someone has cancer, it can increase their cancer and make it worse, or it could put a situation where their body is um, encouraged to have cancer form, and that's due to a lack of oxygen, all of this. Repeated exposure, which would be on a daily basis with these kids in classes for long periods of time, um, and in some cases, I know on our campus, even though the law states, or the, I'm sorry, it's not a law, even though the district rule states that indoor only is where masks are required, kids are wearing them outside and teachers are yelling at them for putting, taking their masks down, which they should be able to take them off when they're outside and they should know that as well because it's hot outside and this can cause a lot of problems. So in, a repeated exposure can cause an increased chances of heart attacks and strokes. The psychological damage that has been proven with scientific research is that it can create anxiety, depression, suic suicidal tendencies, lack of motivation to attend school, lack of facial expressions, which is impacting our learners. One of the things we focus on in the school district is our English language learners. They are going to suffer more than most likely any other student. Um, in the mandatory training that you put all of the teachers through this, um, this summer, one of the things that they stated about was the importance of these students being able to see your facial expressions and read your lips. This is not able to happen, so our English language learners are suffering more than most, as well as our special needs children. Um, and then on the note, oh, so one last thing. So as a mandated reporter myself, this is kind of putting me in a bad situation because I'm now working in a system where I'm witnessing potential child abuse to our kids and I have, I have duties to deal, deal with that. Um, moving on to the protocol for the vaccinate your kids or get them tested once a week. First of all, everyone that's here outside right now already is aware that if a child does not comply with the, um, with the testing weekly, that there's nothing that the school district can do because you guys will lose money. Thank you, Serena. Your three minutes are up. Too bad I couldn't say all the... The next speaker...